What's up guys? Intraday Revenge here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to customize your Ninja Trader chart to look like ICTs. I'm going to be helping you change it from this to this. After you open Ninja Trader, you're going to get a black window just like this. The first step is to create a new workspace. Click that. You see green is the current workspace I'm on. So we're going to hit new and we're going to name this ICT. Go back to workspaces and you'll see this is green now. The next thing we're going to do is hit new, scroll down to chart and click that. This is the part where we're going to be doing a lot of customization. So feel free to pause the video and please do not skip steps. Just for this once, do not skip steps. You might just, you know, create something beautiful, a beautiful chart, but then you're not going to save it and it'll be all your fault. All right. So instrument, uh, I'm just going to select ES, the marks, the March contract over here. You're going to create your own template. I'm going to move this to none, but you can move that to default. It's just because I already have a few presets loaded on the other ones. Now scroll down until we get to candle body outline and candle wick. These two things we're going to be changing to black. Just like that. And just like that. Next thing color for down bars. We're going to be changing that to black. Now you can leave these up bars lime green. It looks perfect. But for ICT's newest video based on that, it looks closer to sea green. So we're going to do that. Scroll down a little bit more. And for the plot executions, we're going to put markers only. Now hit that button, save, name it, title it, whatever you want. Make sure to save it. Okay. Now we have this beautiful chart. I know it probably looks absolutely crazy right now, but trust me, if you just keep following along in these next few steps, your chart is going to look amazing. Now I'm going to change it to the five minute. It just looks better, you know, for charting purposes for this video. I'm also going to be changing the crosshair out to local. ICT does use the cursor, so it'd be off if you want that, but I just think local allows me, you know, to be a little bit more precise with the price. Help me visualize it. Next, we're going to go all the way to this top right icon properties and select it. Scroll down until you see colors for the chart background. We're going to change this to Gainsboro. This should be a color near the top. Gainsboro hit apply. They told me Stevie Wonder sees me every day. Next, we're going to change the crosshair labels, the text and the crosshair to black. Now we're going to scroll down a little bit and these two grid lines, we are going to change to transparent. We don't really want to be uh, seeing these in the background. And now hit apply, hit OK. And look at that. The chart looks the chart looks amazing. Honestly, I want I kind of want to switch to this color, but too many people are using this colorway. You can also open the chart trader right here. Click this and it does exactly what it says. Opens up the trader on the side of the chart. Here's some buttons to press if you want to lose money. Uh, here's the account selection, you know, switch accounts to the live to the sim. You can choose your ATM strategy right here, whichever one you want. So right now you could stop. The chart is complete. But this next thing I'm going to show you is very crucial to ICT's teachings. Two drawings that are very important to help you visualize ICT's models, which are rectangles and fib retracements. The rectangles, as you know, are for fair value gaps, order blocks, things like that. And the fib retracements allows you to get to your optimal trade entry. First thing we're going to do is start with a rectangle. Here's a nice gap right here. I'm going to right click, go down to this pencil, which is drawing tools, go over to rectangle, click that, make sure you're at the top wick lined up with the bottom wick, extend it out and done. 
Now your rectangle probably doesn't look like that. That's perfectly fine. We're going to change that right now. Double click it. You're going to change the color area to black. You're going to make sure your opacity is at 40 and you're going to change the outline color to black as well. Also your width, it can either be one or two, however you like it, but mine's at one. Opacity 100, solid line, hit apply. It looks pretty good to me. Now template, save, save it as your rectangle, apply, save it, you'll load it later. Okay. So now every time you draw a rectangle, it's going to look exactly like that. Or you can just click it once, copy, and paste. Now just popped up another one. Here's another fair value gap right here that we wicked into. And there you have it. The next thing we're going to draw is the Fibonacci retracement. Right click again. Drawing tools. Now we scroll up right here to Fibonacci retracements. Click that. Let's just say we'll start at this swing high to this swing low, extend it out a bit. And there you have it. To make yours look like mine, you're going to double click uh, price levels opacity at five. The only thing we're going to be editing on this are the levels. Click right here. The only levels that are important are 0%, 50, 61.8 and 100. Make sure those levels have this visible box checked. As you can see, this level, unimportant, not checked. This level, unimportant, not checked. This level, important, so it's checked. Here are the settings for my 50% and then the settings for the 61.8. Make sure to hit OK. Make sure to hit template, save, name it, save it, apply, and then hit OK. And now every time you draw Fibonacci, it should look just like that. Now you're officially done with customizing your Ninja Trader chart and making it look just like ICTs. The very last thing you're going to want to do is to not hit X on the chart. Do not exit out of this chart. You're going to want to minimize it. So double click the edge. And then you're going to want to save. You end up hitting close over here and it asks if you want to save the workspace. I have ES open right now. So, uh, you know, just disregard that, but you're going to want to hit yes when it asks you. Well, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and make sure to give this a like, a comment, subscribe. And, you know, I just hope that my tutorial is helping you guys just visualize and take these OTEs, FVGs and BBCs and just riding it all the way to your take profit. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.